What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video, and today we're going to be talking about the extra large Nintendo Switch carrying case by Dobie. So as a lot of you guys know, I do a ton of Nintendo Switch accessory reviews on my channel, and I've done a couple cases so far that I've been really impressed with. So when I saw this case in particular, I was excited just by the fact that this thing is massive, especially for a carrying case. But unfortunately, looks can be a little deceiving in this situation because this thing is so gigantic, I was so shocked when I finally opened it up to see how little I could actually fit inside. So check it out, um, as soon as we crack this thing open, you'll see that right away, immediately, it's pretty unique. I mean, it's got a styrofoam cutout, so you can actually place your Switch inside securely and it won't move around at all, which I like. I like that feature a lot, and I like that right underneath there, you can actually see that there's a place for the Joy-Con grip to go, which is pretty cool. I don't know why they didn't leave room, though, for the ability to leave the Joy-Cons on the Joy-Con grip when you're storing it in this case, because you have to take them off, and I think that's really, really annoying, because that just means that you have to put them somewhere else in the case. So, there's another pocket right next to it that I am still really confused about. I have no idea what you're supposed to put in here. I've tried to put the AC adapter in here, but unfortunately, like, it doesn't fit no matter how you fit it in here. I guess you could snake the AC adapter cable all around the case area where you would lay the switch, but I think that that's such an inconvenience. The only thing that I've really been able to fit in there is an amiibo, uh, and not even every single amiibo, just like a small amiibo. So once you actually place your switch in the foam cutout area, you can see that it fits really snugly, and I like that they left these two little holes right here for your fingers to easily remove the switch as well when you're ready to play with it. I definitely feel like this case is going to keep my switch protected, but that completely depends on how much stuff I actually decide to put inside of this case and bring with me. So you'll see what I'm talking about once we get to the other side, where we have our game card storage area, and right here is where we can store up to 20 game cards which is an amazingly large number. I, every single time it seems like I do another case review, it, there's just more room for game cards, and I don't even think that there are actually 20 uh, Switch physical games available to buy yet, but once they do become available, uh, you'll be ready to go if you do have this case. So, flipping over to the other side, you can see that there's a little zipper pouch area for additional accessories. And what I've found fits best in here are basically Joy-Cons and another battery, some cables, and the AC adapter itself actually does fit in here, which is pretty comforting. So if you do decide to bring it with you, you will be able to as long as you use this pouch. So let's go ahead and throw the Joy-Cons in there and you guys can see that it does fit pretty nice. Um, it's not too bad. I don't like that everything is really tight and this pocket is kind of shallow. It's not very deep. So once you end up getting everything inside and closing it, it does lay on your Switch a little tight. I feel like the kind of Switch player that would be interested in buying this type of case is the type of player that probably travels with a lot of accessories. And as you can see, this, despite its large size, doesn't fit as much as you would think. And there are other cases that are about half its size that would fit just as much stuff. And I actually have a case that I'll be talking about in the future that I'm really excited to show you guys that is just that. So ultimately, when it comes down to it, Dobie made a pretty good case for the Nintendo Switch. It's gonna transport your Switch just fine, and it'll keep it protected as long as you're packing it smartly. However, I still think there are a lot of better options currently available if you're looking for a good Switch case. I think that you'll be able to find other cases that'll probably offer better protection with a smaller size that'll offer more space for accessories. So before you guys go, I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually going to be giving this case away through Gleam. So make sure you're entered into that giveaway if you're interested in winning it by clicking on the Gleam link in the video description below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.